Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. Oh, I want you to see something. Say hello to my little friend. Can you see? I went into what was supposed to be my garden because we're going to be getting close to a frost tonight. And I was picking some herbs. And when I was looking through the herbs, I brought this guy home. And um, I guess I saved his life. I don't know if he's going to get to grow into a moth or a butterfly or something, but at least he won't freeze. And, of course, you remember Cassie. Oh, boy. So, what do you think of the makeup I have on now? It's been a while since I did a makeup tutorial, and I know some of you have been asking for them. So, that's what we're going to do today. Once I put Cassie down... Oh, and I will show you Tabby Boy after a bit. But the first thing, you know, when you handle cats and stuff, you really have to clean your hands. So I'm going to use an antibacterial wipe, sterilize my hands. And then I'm going to tie my hair back. Now, this is a look... It's more subtle than I would really like, but if you ever want something that's a little bit on the neutral side, if you want something, maybe like myself, you have green eyes and you want to bring them out, or you are wearing leopard and so you want neutrals that will go with that, these colors that I'm wearing will fit very nicely. And I use the uh, Too Faced Then and Now palette. I've shown you this before, and these are the colors. Now, usually I do take one eye off and do it that way, and then there's a bit of a challenge for me to get them both to match. This time, I think I'm just going to take both off. This time, I'm going to be using this micellar cleansing water. And this stuff, by the way, I do want to make a mention about this. I've had some time to play around with it. And the one thing about this, it may be good for taking the makeup off, but if the eye makeup off, but if you're going to use it to, to actually take up more than just your eye makeup, you might find it's a little bit of a hassle because you'll be going over your face and going over your face. Ideally, you'd clean until it doesn't come off on the cotton anymore and the thing is that no matter how many times how many cotton balls I've been using you still it takes so long to wash your face this way what I would do is I would use this just for your eye makeup and I would use other cleansers for the rest of the makeup otherwise you're going to be cleaning your face half the night and who has time for that so I'm gonna put some in my hand and I'm going to use part of a cotton ball. And see that? When you see the ads for this stuff, it comes off right away. And even though, yes, it's removed some of it, you see it hasn't really removed all of it. So, And you can tell I didn't rehearse this because if I had, then I would have known how not easy this was coming off and I would have used my coconut oil or something and uh, I can't edit this I still am using my Chromebook computer and it runs on the Chrome operating system not Windows and I haven't found a way to edit on a Chromebook I thought I discovered a free program uh, and I'm not even going to say the name of it, but I found out that the free version, there's no way I can edit on it because it only gives you five minutes editing time a month. That's crazy. And for somebody like me that's not the most uh, tech proficient person in the world, to edit one video takes a hell of a lot longer than five minutes. So for that to last me a month is crazy. 
see how long this has taken, how many passes this has taken for me. Take just one eye's makeup off. It's crazy. Now I'm going to do this on this side too. I hope the people outside don't get noisy. It's cold now and I really don't feel like throwing open my window to yell at people because then I'm going to be letting more cold air in. Oh, another thing about this stuff. I don't know about other brands of the micellar water, but this is stinging my eyes as I'm doing this. So, that's not what I call fun. Okay, more of the cotton ball. Oh, is this burning? This is really burning, I'm telling you. The oils don't burn. This is burning. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Remind me not to use this again on one of my videos. This is not good. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't edit things and you do things sort of kind of live. I'm going to use this mirror so I can get a better idea of what I'm doing here. Oh. Okay. I'll say it's 99% off. The instructions on this micellar water say that you don't need to rinse afterwards. But if I was next to a sink, I would rinse. At least because of the eye. And I took my washcloth off. It's over here. Hold on a second. Of course, this is not really even damp. Alrighty. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my eyelid with the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. This is just a concealer. But you know what? I really want to put a moisturizer on my eyes first. And you know something? I am almost totally run out of my skincare. And that's not good. But let's just say that the money that was supposed to go towards skincare, the Retin-A, the other skincare that I've been buying because I had to save up and buy the computer that I'm using. Uh, I have been forced to do without. So if I look wrinklier than I should be, that's why. Now what I'm applying on my eyes, it's just vitamin E oil, but it's not even concentrated vitamin E. In this whole four ounce bottle of it, it only contains doesn't even say how many how many IU. It actually con uh, contains soybean oil, vitamin E, and coconut oil. So, and this was something that I got at a uh, Dollar Tree. I'm just putting a little bit. And this is really what I should have used to take this eye makeup off. So I'm kind of going over just to get more of it off and it's also leaving kind of moistness to the area. Now I can go ahead and put this on and you got to turn this so that it moistens the thing.
Oh, and the color on this is the palest shade that I could find. Uh, it says it's ivory. So, oh, and you know how I got the idea of using the Maybelline Age Rewind? There is uh, one of the YouTubers that I watch. Her uh, username is Melissa55. And she recommended this and I took her advice and it is good stuff. I really like this concealer. That's the main base that I've been using for my eyeshadow these past couple of months. And uh, I think they, this comes in four different colors. So if you're really, really, really fair, you definitely want to use this shade. But uh, there's uh, three others. So... That's not an extremely wide range, but then again, considering it's concealer and not a foundation, I suppose that's okay. Now, speaking of foundations, this is a foundation that I'm wearing. This is from the brand Sassy and Chic, and it's just their moisturizing foundation and the palest shade I can find, which is light number one. And that's what I have all over my face. With this uh, palette here, Too Faced then and now. The first thing I'm going to do is at the brow bone area. They have a color called Pixie Dust. And that's this very pale gold shade here. Um, one thing that I wish this palette had, I wish it had a matte white. Because this really isn't light enough to be the lightest shade on my eyebrow. I think it would look better if I actually had matte white on top but i don't so but i'm going to take it on the brush here and i'm going to put it close to the top and i'm going to have it about a half inch thick it might look better if you let a little bit of skin show between this and the brow bone but as you can see I didn't really do that. But you know what? Because I really do think white would look better. Hold on. Let me get another palette out. Okay. This is the B&H Cosmetics Foil Eyes. It's a 28 color eyeshadow palette. And oh yeah. And the lids are really sturdy. You know what? I'm not going to use this palette. I am going to use the B&H Cosmetics Modern Mattes. It's another 28 color eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, the lid really cracked on this one. But I'm going to use the white is on here. And where are my brushes? Yeah, my brushes. I've been keeping most of my brushes in this zipper case. And I'm going to use a B&H Cosmetics brush, one of my favorite eye brushes. I really like how it feels. I like how it feels in the hand. There's two, I have two of their brushes like that. This is a smaller one than this one. The one that I'm going to use for the white is, oh, the number's not on. Oh, yes, it is. It's either L7 or I7 or 17, one of the two. I'm going to just dip it into the white. And you can see that the, this white I've used more than anything else in this palette. And I'm just going to go back on my brow bone and go right up against my eyebrow. Being careful not to smear the eye makeup, the eyebrow makeup. If the people get a little noisy out there, I'm taping this on a Friday night. Oh, and just so you know, I have more Washington, D.C. videos, but unfortunately, they're all filmed in sections. And because I don't know how to edit yet, uh, and I also can't email large files, so, and I don't, this editing problem I, I really, I wanted to put all the Washington, D.C. 
videos together kind of sort of consecutively so it made more sense but I don't know when you're going to get to see that footage so I threw this I'm doing this tonight I don't want to say throwing it together even though I feel I kind of am because I need to have something for you guys for tomorrow I feel bad that I missed a day this week because of the editing situation again I thought I would have something for you from Washington and I don't so and I know that you guys need footage you you need a video so I said tonight I'm not going to screw up I'm going to make sure to take care of you guys okay I'm going to use a uh, lid color for the lid color I'm going to use on the Too Faced then and now palette a shade called NSFW as in not safe for work and the best way I call it, way I could describe this color it's like a metallic taupe and I'm using a brush from ELF, E-L-F. It's called the C brush. And I'm not exactly sure why they call it C. But it's a, a brush that's mostly for depositing color. But it can also blend. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to just pack it on my eyelid. Just on the lid itself. I'm not going to extend it beyond the crease. I'm just going to barely touch the crease. If you have a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of skin showing between this and the shadows here, that's fine. But don't have more than the barest sliver of skin left. And because these colors are so neutral, I think it's really important to pack them on as darkly as you can, at least your lid color. Maybe not so much your brow bone color. But pack this on your lid really nice. Now it's time for the crease color. For the crease, I am using the shade Lost Boys. It's this green here. And I'm using another B&H Cosmetics brush. And since it's not the 17, I'm not sure what it is. Um, but I love these two brushes. I would like to get more, but I would like them to uh, go on sale. And uh, I just, because some of these brushes are more than $5 which some of you are scoffing, thinking that's ridiculous because you're paying $40, $50 for a brush. I'm not going to do it. I mean, this computer that I'm filming with set me back with shipping and tax and everything, set me back all of $89, which you're probably thinking that is cheap for a computer, but it's a Chromebook. It only has 16 gigabytes of uh, storage space in it. And you know, video files take up a lot of room. So I've used up half the storage space already. Anyway, I'm going to dip into this color get it good on the brush and I am just going to hit the crease so if you have that little sliver of skin exposed concentrate right where the exposed skin is and just go back and forth back and forth you want a thin line you don't want it heavy and I'm gonna go on the other eye I find if you're dealing with neutral colors, you can go much more intensely and you'll still end up with half of a natural look. And I can't help but get the feeling that that's what most people seem to want is a natural look. And that's not really the look I favor. But, and I even, I don't even know that this is even going to show up well in this lighting. And with the kind of camera that this computer has, this is not the best computer. I mean, well, obviously it's not the best computer, but it's not the best webcam that I've ever used. But at least it doesn't make my hair look too blue. I know I need to do my roots again. But I have to get some more peroxide to mix in with the powder to bleach them. And I just haven't gotten around to it. Plus, I thought that I was going to wait to dye my hair 
until I was ready to get my photo ID because obviously you want to look good for the picture. But I haven't gotten that around to doing that yet. I don't have the ne all the necessary paperwork to get the ID and that's really kind of complicating my life in some ways, but it is what it is. I'm going to get some more on this brush and I'm going to go under the eye as thin as I can and hopefully not get not get a bunch of shadow on my eyeball because that would kind of suck. This really does bring out the green in your eyes if you do have green eyes. I bet it would look really great if you have brown eyes also. But you know what? No matter what color your eyes are, I think you could probably wear this. I want to do this dark enough so that it looks like eyeliner. Many of you really like a nice winged eyeliner and i could do it but you know what i don't want to cover up this eyeshadow plus the liquid eyeliner that i've been working with lately sometimes it feathers in the inner corner and it smudges and i really don't want to be dealing with that on camera trying to unsmudge it without messing everything else up it's kind of a bit of a hassle so i'm just not going to bother but if you want to you can this is the mascara that i'm using it's from a company called hang fang hang fang very interesting uh, hang fang max volume mascara and it has a skull on it and i got it from a company called wish.com that's a uh reseller it's it's a whole bunch of sellers sell things most of them from asian countries so the prices are close to rock bottom if not rock bottom and i like to save money now more than ever i absolutely have to save money so now when i first did this makeup i actually did something i don't usually do i did the mascara first Sometimes it is nice to do the mascara first because that way it's much easier to correct mistakes. Uh, if it smudges when you already have eyeshadow on and everything, then it's really hard to correct the smudges without messing everything else up. But if you do the mascara first, at least you know you've gotten that out of the way. But then again, when you put the mascara first, sometimes it can make the uh, applying your liquid eyeliner to be kind of a bit of a challenge because the eyeliner brush can skip on the mascara and it can sometimes make you go outside the line that you're drawing and you usually don't want that so so bottom line is do whatever orders is best for you whatever makes sense a lot of people like to do their eye makeup before they put their foundation on so that the crumblies from the eyeshadow doesn't get on the makeup then again you could use a thin layer of a face powder underneath your eyes and that way uh, when you do your eye makeup it really won't stick to your under eye area because the powder will keep it from uh, adhering to your eyeshadow that's another technique you can use but if you put powder under your eyes that could uh, get cakey looking and it can also accentuate any fine lines or wrinkles that you might have and if you're over 25 you probably have a few so this has quite a big brush doesn't it this has the biggest brush of any mascara I've ever used and yet as big a brush as it is it doesn't come on real thick it obviously doesn't clump if i would have done anything differently to design this 
I would have had the thing that scrapes it off, you know, that scrapes off the excess. I would have the opening maybe a tiny little bit bigger just so it didn't take off quite as much. It's not dry or anything. Now, is this showing up enough? I tried to adjust my lamp here so that it's not so close that it doesn't white everything out. For my blusher, I decided not to bother with the contour. I just used blush as contour. And this is the B&H Cosmetics Special Occasion 39 Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Set it on the front, but... It got rubbed off. So I'm using this brown here and since I already did it applied it I'm not going to apply it again but I just used a finger and I just tapped it on here touch a little bit more and smeared it a little bit more smudge it okay for my highlighter, I used the B&H Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette. And I used this gold chain here that has a name. It is called Electra. And I just took another finger and tap it along the cheekbone. I've been using fingers more and more, especially with uh, blush and highlighter, because you can blend. And by the way, a really great way to blend, rather than stretching the skin, which causes wrinkles, because the older you get, your body is producing less uh, collagen and elastin. And so sometimes when you stretch the skin, it doesn't bounce back as fast, and we don't want that. So if you tap instead of rubbing, you still get the blended effect that you want without stretching the skin. Because, you know, if you get an old rubber band and you stretch it, a lot of times they break. Think of your skin the same way. Tapping is really nice. Let's put a little right here. A little right here at Cupid's bow. A little here. Now, you could also go here and here. I've been wearing baseball caps a lot lately, so to put things up here is kind of ridiculous. Take my hair down. Now, you haven't seen Tabby Boy today. i got to show you my Tabby Boy. My Tabby Boy! Come here, baby. Oh, my baby cat! Oh, my, oh just come here, baby. Come here. Oh, my beautiful cat. Oh, my cat. Is he gaining weight? Oh my goodness. This is my beautiful baby. He was asleep. He's like, what the fuck you do this for me? You're exploiting me. You're exploiting me for the YouTubes. Oh yes, I am. I'm exploiting you. My subscribers expect to see my cats. They love my cats. They tell me they want to see us. Let me see Tabby Boy's pretty face. Look, he's got a beautiful face. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. This is my baby. I love my baby so much. Oh, baby, baby, baby cat. Baby, baby, baby cat. What do you think? You're not going to purr for me? No? You want me to put you down? Okay, I'll put you down. There you go. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show you my earrings. I got these at an Atlantic City 99 cent store a couple years ago. And there, there was a tag on them. They're actually made in Africa. So I'm thinking if these are supposed to go to a village, uh, to an artisan somewhere in Africa, 
and yet I bought them at the dollar store. It makes you wonder how much money actually went to that African. But I really like that that's where it came from. And it's made of like copper or brass or something. But they're very lightweight. And for me, I have to have lightweight earrings. Otherwise, they really make my ears sore. So... Oh, tell me I can't feel this. This is ridiculous. There. Okay. Do you like it? Oh, the lipstick. I want to show you the lip color. Now, I'll have you know. Oh, ah, 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 ah. oh, 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 Tabby Boy. You want to know what Tabby Boy was trying to do? He was eating that plant. What a sneaky brat. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. He tried all, oh, but he didn't get my little friend. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You got to watch these cats. I'm telling you. You watch. If my little friend turns into the butterfly or whatever, I'm going to have to protect him because Tabby Boy, he's a hunter. He will go after that. So I want to see the lip color. This is from B&H Cosmetics. This was from their, this is Liquid Linen is the name of the kind of lipstick this is. And this was actually a set of five of them called Royal Affair. And I put the reading glasses on, uh, which gives some kind of magnification. And the label was so small for the life of me. Even with magnification, I cannot read the name of the lipstick. But it is a light matte brown shade and i just put it on oh and tabby boy's trying to come out but the door is shut and a table's in front of the door so he can't get out and as long as he doesn't do something bad like use the the floor uh instead of a litter box because if he does that i'm going to spank him you know what i better open the door so that he doesn't do anything bad okay tabby boy yeah, I'm sorry. He can't be trusted. So that's my lip color. And for my eyebrows, I use a lipstick from a company called Pop Feel. Oh, and this purple shade, it has a really great smell to it. Mm. And that's my eyebrows. So that's the makeup. And I hope you like it. I think it's pretty cool. One thing, though, is I noticed after a number of hours... This all kind of blends together a little bit and it doesn't look, it looks a little less dramatic. So if you wear this, I think it's a really good idea to bring your makeup palette and your brushes with you. And like in an hour or two, just take a look and maybe intensify it a little bit. Add a little bit more of your lid color. If you want, you can wing it out a little bit. But if you like it, it's real easy to do. And you could probably wear it to the office or to church or wherever if you want to look respectable. I think this look will do it. Okay. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you think it sucks, give it a thumbs down. YouTube still counts it as engagement. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. Um, if, I, if everything is going well, I make three new videos a week. Should put them out Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Unless I'm having problems with uh, computers breaking or something. And again, as soon as I can get the uh, footage from Washington, D.C. edited, I will post it. And I hope you enjoy what I have to show you. And until then, I will talk to you soon. Bye.